Welcome friends and lovers, Trolling Prophet here. We're going to show you how to use FMP. Assuming you got in with the menu, you can open up your settings. And the first thing I want to do is turn off the FOV value. You can change your field of view. I like to have mine at the regular default for the game because sometimes I like to play legit and I don't want to mess up, uh, you know, muscle memory and things like that with, with characters. And I just want to feel like I'm playing normally. But you can go ahead and change your FOV if you want everything to look stretched and weird. Anyway, uh, Fly Boost is going to be for the bot here. The bot that will play for you when you are not here. You would turn on Fly Boost and then you would also turn on Auto Play with H. If you turn on Auto Play with H, you would also come over to this part of the menu and click Q, Auto Q for well, if you want to do survivor or killer, the point of this feature is to raise your MMR. The survivor, if you auto queue and auto play, the survivor will automatically do the gens and leave. They will not unhook uh, teammates. They will not heal or anything else. Um, the fly boost will make it so when the killer approaches this, your character will leave the area, teleport to another gen, start working. The reason for this is MMR is based solely on whether you escape or die. So. The bot will go from game to game with the auto queue feature. If you want to raise your MMR, you can do that. See how when I clicked it, it said it, it automatically queued me. I'm going to stop that for now. Um, you can go ahead and put, put whichever survivor you want. Um, here's prestige. If you want to change your prestige, you want to be a P100 Sable, whatever you want to do, you have that there. Um, I am right now currently in the menu that's called Open Utility. And I am going to put, I like to do this, you don't have to do this, but I go to the command and I put r.color.mid and I put a space and a one. And what this does is it brightens my screen. As a content creator, I like to have my screen looking nice and bright for visual aesthetics. You don't have to do that either. That's just my preference, letting you know the things that I do. All right, so over here, if you clicked on perks and you were in a lobby um, with a killer, it will show you the killer's perks and such right there if you clicked perks. I'm not going to click auto queue. Uh, I'm not going to enable risky mode. It will increase your chances of getting banned. You will have a couple extra features. If you do this, I don't do it. I don't think it's worth it. Um, you can go to ESP style and change your color because th these will be colors for different things. Um, so what I will do is I will take off all the reds here and all the blues here, and that leaves me with 100% green, and I will set that to my survivor color because I want my survivors, my teammates to show up in green. Otherwise, everything starts to get confusing when everything's in yellow. You see gens in yellow, vaults in yellow, everything. This is to differentiate. That's all I do right here. I also boost my font size up to uh, about 22, 24, something like that. Sorry, my dog is like choking and hurting himself in the background. So I got a little distracted there, but uh, we'll move on from that as long as he's not having a seizure. Okay, so I do that with the ESP style. Um, I, I do the font size. I boost it up a little bit so I can read things. And then from there, I executed the, the, the mid boost. Um, once again, you can have this lower, you can put like 0.5 executed. It'll be a little, you know, 0.75, whatever you want. I usually run it at about one. Um, that's how I like it moving on. So we got our colors, we've got our ESP, our style, our fonts all this and that so that is the utility menu pretty straightforward you have lighting's menu the lighting will change your lighting as the lighting menu implies it will change your lighting so uh one that i find really cool one of my favorites is the farm lighting it doesn't always work in every map right now everything looks overly bright because of that that um this but that's because we are in the um in the blood moon it's got a special background so everything is like brighter than normal right now but once again, you can put this back to default. I'm going to leave it at default for now. I like this one a lot, the farm lighting. There's other ones. Uh, another one, cool one is like the um, this lighting, which would be like the Badham uh, preschools. It's, it, colors are not showing up right, right now, properly right now, because of the way that the background is for the Blood Moon. It's different. Anyway, so for now, I'm going to leave that to default. Play around with the lighting menu if you would like to. Otherwise, don't. 
it's up to you. Philbots, I don't know, uh, custom lobbies only, don't worry about that, that's nothing. Um, let's see, moving on to custom loadout. For me, I'm going to put enabled. That's important. You want to enable it. If you don't want to enable this and you just want, well, never mind. You're not really going to be able to pick your own perks because over here you don't really have perks. That's just not the way it is. So anyway, you're going to want to enable this as far as I understand. This is what I do and this is what I recommend. You're going to want to enable that. You're also going to want, put, want, to, put, want to put fill slots because this is from what I believe is at the end of the match. If you don't have this checked, it's going to show everybody that you had no perks and they're going to be like, whoa, how did you do all those things with no perks? So you going to want to, you are going to want to have this on just for sake of looking less conspicuous. Um, you can switch between your killer and survivor to pick your perks. And let's start off with an offering. The offering I'm going to put is the terror masu. I'm going to type in terror Go over here, put terror masu. This will enable a lot of blood points for whoever's playing with me. You can put whatever offering you are, you want, sorry. I don't care for whatever offerings you can be. If you want to play a map over and over, you have all your offerings here. I like to put the terror masu. So that way it gives everybody extra blood points. I don't need blood points. We don't need blood points here because we already have everything. So this is not for me. This is for sake of other players moving along. I'm going to pick, I will tell you as it stands currently, things change, menus change, DVD patches, things, but as it currently stands, one of the best loadouts you're going to want to use is hyper focus one of the best perks as far as loadouts are concerned you're going to want to type in hyper come down here to perks drop down pick hyper focus add the perk uh, this is going to make you hit great skill checks all the time i believe well while healing well while healing and doing gens so uh it's good it gives you extra progress you could do gens a little faster than normal unfortunately there's no such thing as insta gens at this point in time this is the most you're going to get moving along another great one to have at the current point in time is uh buckle up because you can swoop in give uh pick someone up heal them give them endurance every time you heal them a lot of times when you're cheesing killers understand that they can't hook uh they can't hook survivors because well the cheeser is usually wiggling the survivor out every time and the killer can't get them to a hook so what do they do the next best thing well it would be to stand over them and slug them and watch them bleed out so you're going to want to have something like buckle up to pick up your teammates and give them endurance so they can take a hit and run so i'm going to put on buckle up that paired with for the people is another great one because as soon as your teammate gets down assuming you're fully healthy you can pop in there pick them up instantly with for the people give them endurance give you endurance and hopefully you're out of there unless you're one of those people that like to run back and right into the killer because you're expecting the cheeser to constantly save you and then we'll end up is you're gonna end up bleeding out and dying so anyway <clears throat> That's a whole lot of ranting for no reason, but I would put on for the people, I would put on buckle up. So right here, it tells us we have selected perks. We have three. If you drop down, we have three. Now the last one, <coughs> excuse me. Last one, if you wanna be inconspicuous, you wanna be off the radar, you can use something like distortion. Let's say you're gonna be tele teleporting around the map. And you know, I spelled that completely wrong. Just put this and you'll see it right here, right? I recommend this perk because it will keep, for the most part, it will keep your aura off the radar. Therefore, killers will not be able to see your aura when you're just teleporting and jumping around and flying and doing things you're not supposed to be doing and speeding across the map. That's an option. However, if you want a rage hack, you might want to put something like head on. This is where things will get fun. So I need to like put some honey in the water or something in my throat. You know, I talk a lot. I'd like to hear myself talk. Okay. Okay. So now I got honey on my mouse. That doesn't help. So I'm going to go to hyper focus. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go to distortion and remove that. I'm going to click remove. It gives me my three perks here. I'm going to go back and add on head on. And I am going to add that. So now I got four perks as indicated over here. We're going to want two add ons. We have an offering. We're going to need uh, an item at the current time. The best item item would be a med kit. Okay. Sorry, just taking some honey. Okay. For your sake, not mine. Unless you enjoy the sweet ASMR sounds of me coughing into the microphone. So, back on Survivor, I'm going to put on Med, M-E-D. I like to use the Masquerade Med Kit because it has a little confetti when you heal. 
So I have my med kit. Now I'm going to want add-ons. For add-ons, I'm going to put the surgical suture. I'm going to type S-U-T for suture. Come over here to add-ons. Click surgical suture. Now over here, I'm going to take quantity where it says one and pump that up to two. And I'm going to click add-ons. And now we have two of those. So as indicated over here, we have two add-ons and four perks. We have a tiramisu as an offering and a masquerade med kit. We are done with the loadout. You do the same thing for killer if you want to. I don't want to. I'm going to move on. So we're going to close that section. That is the custom loadout. Next, we're going to come over here to actually, we're going to go to, um, let's check this menu. This is the open settings menu, right? Like I, we started out and I, and I moved away from it over here. This is skill check size. I guess you're going to leave that alone on 80, um, hit CD value. I'm not sure off the top of my head what this is. I think it's killer related. I could be wrong. If I don't know what something is off the top of my head, I'm just going to move forward because I don't want to sit here and, and pretend to know something or think about it. Um, I know most of this stuff. I don't know everything, but we're just going to move on from that. So this is your, your ESP or your, aura uh, reading. Okay, so the way I set this up is I like to see survivors, I like to see killer. Uh, I don't care about revealing hooks because my screen gets cluttered with auras. I don't like to see everything on the map. Some of you might want to see that. I don't really care to see chests unless I'm looking to open one um, and get a bunch of items out of it. Not for me, but for other people. Okay, so that is a feature too. Hopefully, I'll remember to go over that. Um, uh, usually there's a chest in the basement anyway, so you can find that one if someone didn't open it yet. Yeah, reveal generators, you can if you want, I guess. It's helpful if you want to, sure. Reveal escape is going to show you where the gates are. Reveal hatch is going to show you where the hatch is, obviously. Reveal traps, if you're going against like a hag or a trapper, you're going to reveal their traps. Reveal vaults is going to be like windows of opportunity. It's going to show you your windows and doors and such. Um vaulting locations pallets and things like that reveal lockers i don't care about like that for any reason at all i'm going to take that off like i said i don't like my esp my wall hacks getting all cluttered with all kinds of stuff to me that's just a big eyesore so i want as little as possible reveal totems you can have this on or off you can turn this on or off mid game as well supposing the killer has a hex and you want to find out where it is you can go ahead and put that on i'll leave it on for now but sometimes i take it off like i said i don't like the clutter Reveal items, definitely off. I don't need to see every little flashlight and toolbox and med kit that's laying on the ground. So I don't really care for that. Character text is going to show you the character names and uh, probably the distance they are from you uh, in meters. Um, generator text will show you like the progress of each generator. This is too much for me. I don't really care. I can obviously see when a generator has progress. So I'm going to turn that off. Supposing you were on the last three gen scenario and you wanted to see which gen had the most progress. Okay, you have that option, but I don't think it's that important. Um, totem text is going to tell you if it is a hex totem, it'll tell you, like, let's say this is the Noed, this is the plaything, this is the hex Huntress Lullaby, this is the, the Devour Hope, this is the Rune, this is the um, whatever the case may be. Um, <clears throat> this will tell you your, your hexes, so you'll know if it's important to put it out. Uh, hatch text is going to show you where the hatch is. Once again, it's just going to say hatch on it. Probably make it a little easier to see with the text on it. Now here is your auto dead hard head on. We're going to be using the head on as we have head on equipped. You must have head on equipped. If you want to use the head on, put it on this, check that off. Also, if you're going to want to use, um, auto head on, <clears throat> you're going to want to come over here <coughs> and Turn off where it says remove effects. You're going to click on end and that is going to turn that off the end key on your keyboard. Okay. So in order to make head on work, you're going to want to have it checked off here. You're going to want to have remove effects clicked on and you're going to want to have head on equipped in your loadout. Moving on. F2 will instant escape the match. This only works when the exit gates are open, I believe, or... I think it only works when the exit gates are open. It might work in end game collapse, which would be end game collapse would be when the hatch is closed. I'm not sure if it only works in end game collapse or when exit gates are open, but it's one of the two. I'm not hundred percent on that. Either way it's not going to work until you're at the end of the game. So let's say you're at the end of the game gates open. Everyone escapes killer puts you on a hook last you press F2. You automatically escape. Let's say you're messing around 
with the killer, the timer's going down at the end, the killer knocks you down, slugs you, and before they can pick you up, you click, you press F2 and you automatically just crawl right out the gate instantly, right? It's a nice feature to have if you definitely want to escape. Me, I like to play, um, at the end of the game, I like to play with fire, so to speak. I don't just leave. I like wait till the timer goes all the way to the last second and then try to escape. And sometimes I end up dying and that doesn't matter because this isn't about winning uh, for me. Yes, it is. I never lose. Anyway, so caps lock is going to be where you boost forward. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be uh, it's going to be kind of like no clipping forward, right? So this what I use this for the most is going through walls. I think it's really funny. Um, you can see a lot of the videos I made, I just go right through the walls. So if you're ever stuck in a wall or on a generator, sometimes if you teleport to a generator, you get stuck kind of in the generator. You press caps lock, it'll get you through that hitbox. So if you ever find yourself stuck on an object, caps lock will unstick you usually, get you like through that, <coughs> that wall or that generator or whatever it is that you're stuck in. <coughs> Once again, sorry, you're going to have to put up with me coughing. Uh, my throat's not doing well right now. Um, if you're running from a killer and you just want to go through a wall, there you go. Caps lock, you go through the wall there and you just Houdini them right there. Magic. Okay, next. Toggle flying, I don't really mess with. I think all that does is when you jump up in the air, you press this and you kind of like hover, you get stuck in the air. I don't really mess with it. Um teleport to survivors i remap these you can teleport to killer you can teleport or um to different objects jump okay toggle speed hack um let's see you can teleport to totems generators teleport right to the escape teleport to the hatch black bars i think is maybe in the intro when it shows the black bars on top of the bottom of the screen irrelevant i don't use it i think it just takes it off not not 100 percent on that toggle roll B is going to switch and show the add-ons of, let's say you're playing Survivor, you press B, you're going to see the add-ons of the killer where you normally see in the bottom left corner where you see your um, Survivor add-ons, med kit and stuff. You're going to see the killers. <coughs> this works really well with Onryo if you want to see where her TBs are. Press that, you can see where her TBs are. Um, this one... Um, v client tp character this works for ghost face revealing the ghost face i think it also works on the new killer now the unknown if you want to look at him and lose your purple helmet thing that he gives you over your head the aura i don't know but you can look at the killer from anywhere basically you can go on a rooftop press this button and you will see the killer you will, you will reveal ghost face right out of his power no matter where you are in the map it'll really confuse him you just you could just reveal him the entire game and he will have no stealth power okay uh, other than those two killers i don't know a, a real practical purpose of using this other than just looking at the killer for no reason okay so moving along camera mode is just going to give you some aerial view it's kind of pointless uh, no real practical purpose for that. Uh, aimbot off is going to be for killer if you want to do aimbot. Let's say you're Huntress and you want to have aimbot hatchets, you would turn that on. Instant sacrifice is going to kill someone who's on the hook instantly with I. I've actually never used this, never really had a reason to. But say you want to kill someone for whatever reason, you want to be that, that kind of troll and just kill them on first hook. Well, there's your button. I imagine it works. I've never personally tried it. Uh, Let's see. Um, killer stun drop. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Page up, page down. Maybe this is for the killer. I've never used this. I don't know. Uh, instant hatchets. Instant hatchets um, is going to be if you're Huntress. This is going to be like, from what I understand, it's going to be the hatchets are just going to instantly down everyone. Um, they're not even going to fly in the air. You're not even going to throw the hatchets. It's going to just be like, bah, 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 bah. They're all like instantly sniped with hatchets no matter where you are i believe that's what that does useful modifiers i think this is going to be for like things like automatic skill check so i'm going to turn this on with f9 uh this will be so like if i'm on a gen it's going to automatically hit the great skill checks paired with hyper focus we're going to get extra um progress on skill checks and more frequent skill checks to hit great skill checks with magic aim <coughs> Sorry, once again, um, magic aim. I don't know 100%. I think this obviously has to do with um, killers. I can't speak on this. I don't play a lot of killer. 
with cheese. Let me drink some water. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It's just the way it's got to be. Not 100% on magic aim. Not 100% about the difference between magic aim, instant hatchets, and aimbot. There are three things there that talk about aiming uh, and throwing hatchets, basically. So you'll have to play around with those to see exactly what each one does. But it's very easy. You just press the button. It'll turn it on or off. You could do this in-game, too. Right. <clears throat> Spawn trails. This is for pyramid pyramid head only. The executioner. You can spawn his trails apparently. Trap immunity. This is if you're going against like a trapper and you don't want to get trapped in his traps. Press J. Trap immunity. Let me just turn that on with J. I don't know why it's not turning on. <coughs> Autoplay H. Autoplay H. I don't know why trap immunity is not turning on at the moment, but you could turn it on in game. Uh, auto play H, like I said, it's going to be the auto bot's going to play for you. If you're killer, it's just going to automatically kill everyone and it's going to raise your MMR going from game to game. Uh, assuming you have that back over here, the uh, auto Q pressed on, it's going to go from game to game. Um, let's say for me, I go AFK a lot, I have issues, the dog needs my attention, or maybe I'm just hungry and want a snack. I want to leave, so I hit auto play H, and my character will just go ahead and start doing generators. Well, I'm not here, so at least I'm not standing there AFK like I normally do. All right, auto moonwalk. You're just gonna moonwalk, right? Easy as, easy as, easy as. Okay, so untrap hit instant. I guess if you're gonna untrap yourself with trapper's traps, I'm not 100% sure on this. It looks like it does three things. I don't really use it, so I don't know for sure. Go ahead, if you know anything that I don't know, go ahead and put it in the comments and, and let everybody know what these things do. Because like I said, I don't know everything. I don't use all the features. I use the ones that are most practical for my gameplay style. Uh, if something else is, is new or different that can be used, wonderful. Let's learn about it together. Okay, number nine. Teleport to the lament box. If you're going against a pinhead, the centibite, and you want to go straight to the box, just hit the number pad nine and boom, you're on the box. Wonderful. Uh, toggle no hit CD. This looks like it, it corresponds with over here hit CD value. Not sure what that is. Once again, it sounds like it's a killer thing. <laughs> Delete is auto wiggle. I'm going to turn that off. I want my auto wiggle to be on. So when the killer picks me up, I'm automatically wiggling, uh, hitting the skill checks to get out. Toggle free cam. Okay. F1 is going to make it so you go in the free cam mode. Let's say you're sitting on a gen and you just want to free cam over to where the killer is chasing somebody else. You can press F1. Your camera will go to wherever you want. You you teleport you know, your camera. You will travel. It's astral projection, essentially. essentially. And you will go see where everything is. Uh, watch the killer and chase whatever. Let's say you want to pop in for a save. You press caps lock and suddenly you teleport to that location. Very great feature. Let's say you want to get on a rooftop or, or a light post or something specific that you want to get on top of like a like a hook and you want to stand on top of it. Go ahead and astral project your way up there. Press the caps lock key and you will like find yourself standing on that object. Um, force animation. These are like um, just uh, effects like emotes and stuff like that. I'll show you some of that force interaction. This is where you can do things like <coughs> When you do the locker stun and then you repeat the action of the locker stun and you constantly uh, head on the killer if they're standing in front of the locker over and over again, um, your character will project forward and keep doing the locker stun animation. It'll repeat the last action that you did. So this thing can also be used to like if you pallet stun a killer and you want to keep uh, making the pallet animation of stunning the killer over and over again, you could do it with that. You could also get your teammates stuck underneath the hook or on the hook. If you get them stuck on the hook, they're done for. They can't escape. They're just stuck hanging on that hook till the end game collapses over. And they'll still be hanging on that hook probably for about another minute or so, assuming the killer doesn't DC you. So if you really want to troll somebody, let's say you're let's say you're in a game and there's a, a random survivor that's trying to sell you out to the killer. They're not complicit in your cheats. They don't want to be guilty by association. They want to be a blue falcon. They want to be a social justice warrior. They want to be moral moral grandstanding and bringing the killer over to you to try to sell you out. Well, guess what? Let's say they end up on a hook, assuming the killer puts them on a hook. You get them stuck on the hook and then they're stuck there. They're forced to DC or wait the rest of the game you're, you're essentially taking both them and the killer hostage for a period of time it's not going to go on forever you could however manipulate this to make the game go on for an hour let's say you stick someone on the hook 
you go in the exit gate yourself and you DC. Your character will turn into a bot. It will be trapped inside the exit gate. Therefore, the killer can not open the exit gates because the last gens will not get completed and the hatch will never spawn because there's still more than one person alive. And at this point, you have literally taken the game hostage um, and the killer and survivor will either have to DC or literally wait an entire hour for the game to end. If they want to be that stubborn, that's their choice. So there are some tricks you could do like that if you really want to be that guy. I don't do things like that, but I might do something like that, assuming somebody deserved it. Okay, um, let's see. That, what else can you do? Yeah, you can get them stuck under the hook. If you get them stuck under the hook, you can unstick them by forcing the un, uh, forcing the med kit, force med kit heal. You will unstick them. However, if they have a med kit and they try to heal themselves and they fully heal themselves, I don't believe you can unstick them anymore because they're they're not injured anymore and you can't put the force med kit on them. So they will have stuck themselves under the hook permanently if they had a med kit and tried to heal themselves under the hook. And if they're stuck under the hook, the killer cannot uh, hurt them. The killer can just smack them and and they will take no uh, damage and the killer will not be able to down them or hook them. So let's say a killer's tunneling one of your uh, your survivor friends and keeps going after them and you have to stop and you keep trying to save them and you just don't want to deal with it. Well, they get put on the hook. You unhook them. You stick them under the hook. Now they're stuck there. The killer can't hurt them anymore. You do all the gens yourself and you open the gates and when the time comes you unstick them and then they leave. So you can actually save a survivor this way from being the target or uh, the repeated target of a killer who just wants to go after that one survivor. So lots of different uses you can use. There's the force med kit set to P. I like to change mine. I'm just used to it being oh I'm used to it being different. I want it closer to my fingers on the W A uh, W A S D keyboard. Force med kit will pick you up from the dying state. This is why it's best to use a med kit rather than a toolbox. You will be able to pick yourself up indefinitely uh, if you get downed. You will also be able to remotely heal teammates. You can even heal them as they are running from the killer. And suddenly they'll be mid chase. You're healing them from across the map and they will just get a health state and be fully healed again. Um, yeah, so you can heal yourself with this. So you're going to want to have a med kit and use this as it stands at the time of at the time of making this video. This is the, the best item to have for this purpose. Uh, it's more important than a flashlight or a toolbox. OK, fix movement. This is an important one. If you ever get stuck, you're doing actions. You're going to get stuck actually doing certain things like let's say you stick someone under the hook or such, you know, such force interactions or sometimes you do things uh, like break wiggling out of the killer's grasp you're going to get stuck you're going to have to get used to pressing insert or whatever key you want to bind this to it's going to unstick you after these these things happen so if you're ever stuck anywhere first try insert if that doesn't work try caps lock maybe you're stuck in a wall you can get yourself out um sometimes you got to be careful if if you don't realize it autoplay is on and you might get stuck and autoplay is on and this happened to me once when i didn't understand and I just felt like I was frozen, but I didn't realize autoplay was on. So I needed to take off autoplay and then unstick myself. So watch out for those things. If you don't want to use autoplay, you might want to take the key, like certain keys, you might want to make them to where they're the, um, you remove the key. So you put it on empty so it doesn't happen. So that way you don't accidentally hit the key, which brings me to interrupt everyone. This is one that you might want to click and, um, take off because if you accidentally hit this it will interrupt all survivors actions they won't be able to vault they won't be able to do gens like go over a window or anything so if you really want to hard troll them uh, they won't even be able to do generators so be careful of that if your team is not doing generators once again i had this happen to me where i didn't realize my team was just not doing generators i didn't realize i had this on they couldn't do generators and it was all my fault and i didn't know it so careful with that one n is adding the wiggle power that is when the killer picks you up, you wiggle out of their grasp. I change this to F because once again, it's right by my pointer finger. It, I move it one key over from D to F. Now you're going to have to spam this when the killer picks you up. But actually, if you really want to wiggle out instantly, you will start spamming this button once you get down before they even pick you up when the killer is doing the weapon cooldown you want to spam this button when they pick you up you will instantly break out if you do not spam it while you are down you will have to spam it while you are let's say you're you vault a window or a pallet and they grab you so you didn't have a chance to spam this while you're on the floor you start spamming it now 
hopefully they're not that close to a hook if they're not that close to a hook you will actually wiggle off very fast but if they are if you're right by a hook you might not get it in time once again same thing happens with survivors uh, your teammates if your teammates go down right under a hook you're not going to have enough time to wiggle them out uh, one thing you want to know is that if you want to apply these effects to other survivors you're going to have to hold shift and then spam this button same thing with healing i forgot to mention with the force med kit um, if you want to heal your teammates you're going to have to hold shift and that'll apply to them you will look at the survivor face the survivor that you want to heal hold shift and press this button and you will start healing them um, if you want to heal yourself you just press this button the force med kit when you're done healing you'll have to press insert or whatever your button is to um, unstick um, over here it was insert to to unstick your action or fix movement rather fix movement so you're going to heal yourself and when you're done healing it's not going to actually stop healing you're going to have to press insert to fix your movement you're going to want to be careful also to not start healing yourself with a med kit or have a survivor start healing you uh, and then you try to force yourself to heal because if you get stuck at 95 percent heal you're not going to be able to fully heal someone's going to have to heal heal the rest of you and this is because the force med kit works by great skill checks and um, it's just the way it works so be careful not to get stuck at 95 percent or you won't be able to fully heal so to recap on the med kit and on the wiggle if you want to apply it to yourself you just spam this button spam it while you're on the ground to have a faster immediate wiggle out if if it's you that's getting picked up hold shift to apply this to other survivors Holding shift will apply the med kit. It will also apply the wiggle. Uh, you will heal the person that you're looking at. Same goes for teleporting. If you want to teleport to a specific survivor, you look at that specific survivor and you, and you press the appropriate button to teleport to them and you will teleport to that specific survivor. Okay. On to right alt is just a pallet sound if you want to troll the killer. Okay, so we've got all that stuff. Now I'm actually going to go to remap keybinds. This is where I'm going to change things. I'm going to leave F2 at instant escape. I'm going to take i'm gonna leave caps lock as it is i like that i'm gonna probably just take off oh i'm gonna take off q i'm gonna right click here and it's gonna make it empty right i don't i want q to do something else i don't care about toggle flying untrap i'm gonna leave this alone client tp character this i change specifically to you can change it to anything but i put it to something that's not close by that i would have to consciously reach and hit uh, i put it at uh, a comma um, all this is, is like I said, this is mainly for Ghostface for revealing him from across the map. Uh, teleport to Survivor. I, I have Teleport to Survivor as, um, right arrow. I take my hand off the mouse and click the right arrow. You could have it somewhere. You could have left it where you wanted, where it was. I think it was on Z if you want to have it somewhere close to your hand i'm just used to having it i have all my teleports on the arrows so i have teleport to survivor is to the right i have teleport to a generator going up because if you think about it you're moving up you're making progress you want to go to a generator you press up boom you're making progress on a generator that's what i that's how i like to think of it teleport to uh escape i have this as down because it's like i'm going down town and getting out i'm leaving this place i'm out of here i'm going down okay um so i also i take off teleport to hex totem i make that nothing because i don't really need to teleport to hexes or, or totems if i see the totem and i want to put it out i just go travel there real quick it's not as important you could put it to something if you want i don't really use it i put teleport to hatch to the left so I have teleport to hatch left, I have teleport to escape down, I have teleport to generator up, and I have teleport to survivor right. I change jump to V, so I reach over with my thumb, I jump with V, and then I press the middle mouse, which is right here, toggle speed hack. So let's say you jump with V and you press middle mouse, you will jump up, and then you will shoot forward with a speed hack. So you kind of like fly across the map, and if you keep spamming the middle mouse, so you jump up with V and then you spam the middle mouse, you will just fly across the map which also brings me back to over here i'm going to raise my jump boost to about 800 900 maybe a thousand somewhere in that let's just go with 800 for now that's a that's a high enough jump that like let's say you're in the shack and you press it you'll just be on the roof of shack so that's how that works you can go up a floor you just why take the stairs when you can take the elevator okay back over here to the keybinds 
I'm looking at, uh, we got the, the speed hack, middle mouse, auto moonwalk. I like to put this as the thumb mouse too, because I just click my thumb and uh, start moonwalking. Toggle roll, I leave this as B. Black bars, I leave that as K. I don't really mess with that. Instant sacrifice, I don't mess with. Aimbot, I don't really mess with if you're playing killer. Spawn trails, I don't mess with this stuff. Trap immunity, put J. Uh, I'm not sure why that didn't turn off before when I pressed J. Let's see now, it's still not turning off. Um, not sure why that's not turning off. Maybe you have to be going up against, maybe you have to be in game or going up against the killer with traps, I'm not sure. Uh, but you should be able to do that in game. I've done it plenty of times. Uh, back to re rebind, uh, remap key binds, right? So interrupt everyone. I'm going to right click on this and turn it off because I don't want to accidentally press it. Um, force interaction. I leave that at O. I was thinking about moving it to something closer, but I just, once again, I just reach over with my, with my mouse hand and spam the O. Not the ideal button for this, but I'm used to it, so we'll leave it at that. Fix movement. I leave this as insert. Add wiggle. I definitely change to F because my finger is my, my pointer finger is on D. All I want to do is reach over one key, start spamming the F button. I don't want to try to reach over to the N key. Um, <clears throat> force med kit. I put this on Q because once again, it's right by my ring finger. Uh, my ring finger's on A. I just reach up and use the med kit with Q. And if I want to heal someone else, I hold shift with my pinky and use the med kit with Q. So I don't have to reach far to start healing somebody. I don't have to reach far to wiggle someone out. These are important features that you're going to want to be able to reach quickly. So I put them close to my left hand where my left hand is on the mouse. And that will be it. Keybind status enabled. And with that, we are at... 36 minutes of explanation so i am going to go into a game and show you how some of these things work now that we've gone through the entire menu and we'll just wait patiently i will rest my voice take some honey and uh Sit silently till we get in the game. Feel free to skip forward or go ahead, take a break yourself, and uh, sip on some honey. I probably shouldn't be a P100 Sable right now, but I think that's what we've done. Right here, it's going to show you the killer is a hag. So we can do the traps. Killer is a hag. It tells you their ping. Uh, it tells you they have Devour Hope. Hex the third seal, hex rune, hex no one escapes death. It's a full hex, hex hag. Oh, let me tell the team. It's a hag with full hex build. All right. So tells you all that here. Once, you, well, like I said, you can go to open utility, click on the perks. It also shows the perks here. It tells you, it's telling me I have no perks. Okay. It's telling me their perks as well. Hopefully I come in with perks. Um, we have it enabled. We have a tiramisu. We have a med kit. We have two surgical sutures. We have uh, four perks here. And uh, we should have it. We should have perks, even though it doesn't show me with a med kit or anything. I'm going to let the dog out. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we're in game. So if I had autoplay on with H, it would have been better than standing there AFK and I would have automatically teleported to a gen and started working on it, right? You can also click, so you can get in the menu by pressing F4. 
if I want to put no intro, it would have taken away the intro. The introduction of when your character comes in and the camera circles around your ca um, your camera character, the panoramic view. Put that on, it'll skip that whole intro part, right? Bot is hard at work. If I want to go to F5, it's going to bring up this menu. Go ahead and look at the perks again, right? Um, F6 is going to bring up the keybinds if I want to change them. F7 is an interesting one. It's going to be able to give me some server-side animations. Let's say I want to escape through the hatch, the imaginary hatch. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to click Save. Press F7 again. It's come out. I'm going to press H to get off the Autobot. And let's say I press Y. Suddenly, I escape down the imaginary hatch. I'm going to press Insert to come back out. This guy's on a hook. Look at all the hexes, right? So, middle mouse. I'm spamming middle mouse. I'm going to come to this guy. I'm just going to press right uh, right uh, arrow, and I teleport to him. Unhook him. Start pressing O. Spamming O. And now he is... I'm going to press insert to uh, unstick myself. Fix movement. Now, he is literally stuck on the hook. Under the hook, rather. So, he can't even get hit. I'm going to put out this hex. Hag is on her way over here. We're gonna have to do some kind of magic. Oh, she didn't even see me, so we put this out. Right, so let's say we want to unstick this guy. I hold shift and I press Q, which is my med kit. I'm gonna heal him up, and once I heal him up, well, I could let him I could let him go right now, but I'm gonna heal him up fully. And he will be unstuck. Right? I want if I want to astral project. Uh, F1. I'm looking over here. Right? He's fully healed. I pressed um, caps lock and I teleported to where I was. I'm going to press. I'm stuck right now. I'm going to press insert and unstick myself. Kind of went back to where I was. It's because I was doing in an action. If I press V, look, I'm on the second floor. That's my jump, right? If I press V, then the middle mouse, I'm flying up to the rooftops. Look at all the wonderful things you can do. Let me go back to the menu and see what else we want to show. We know instant escape will be later. No fly clip. Um, she's tunneling Bill. Let's wiggle him out, right? So she's picking him up. Uh, I'm going to hold shift and start spamming F. Oh, never mind. He was right under a hook. I couldn't wiggle him out because he was right under a hook. I'm pressing middle mouse just to speed along, right? I'm pressing caps lock. I'm going to go right through the floor. I'm going to unhook him and I'm going to... Never mind. I'm not going to unhook him. I'm going to speed away. Go right through here with caps lock, right through the walls. All right, I'm going to heal myself. Q. She wants to camp him, so we, we're going to have to stick him under the hook to protect him because he might have, you know, he's in the same exact hook. I feel like he probably stayed there and just got hooked. Oh, let's try to stick him on the hook. How about we try that? I'm not sure if I could do this. I've only done it once, but let, let's give it a try, right? So what I think we do is I think we teleport to him. Whoops. Teleport to him. No, don't beat me there. Don't, don't you beat me to it. I go to unhook him. Wait, wait, wait. I go to un... Wait, he is stuck. Wait a minute. He's stuck. Okay, I don't know. I, I must have done it accidentally. He's stuck. Alright. Interesting. I'm not sure how that happened. We're gonna, we're gonna unhook her. Dude! Alright, she's got the silent traps. So we're going to just dirty camper. Look, she's this is this is what you need the cheese for, guys. All right. So let's see what else can we explain while we're in such such a game as this. Right. All right. I'm healed up. I pressed insert. She's just camping that mag. All right. We're just going to face camp. We're just going to run through and just set off her traps real quick. Alright, now she's, she's just totally camping it. Alright, she's on me. I'm just going to teleport back. Unhook her. And as I unhook, I'm going to teleport with uh, my speed boost. Assuming the killer was going to come hit me, I'm going to give her a health state with uh, for the people assuming the killer was going to come hit me while I was unhooking her I can teleport forward with the middle mouse 
Um, we're at five gens. This dude's stuck on the hook. He, he DC'd. So now the bot's stuck. So I'm going to press up and teleport to a gen. Right? I just pressed... I got, I got put out here, so I pressed... Um, I pressed caps lock to go through the wall. Okay, this is a V. Teleport forward. Caps lock through the wall. Sit on the gen. As I'm sitting on the gen, I can teleport astral project this way. We can go look at Bill. She's standing there. She can't unhook him. I'm not exactly sure how I got him stuck like that. She might be giving up. She might be giving up. Let's teleport. Oh, she's got rune. Let's go through the wall. She's moving again. All right, let me let me let me heal myself up. And as I'm healing up, I'm gonna look at what else there is here. We did toggle flying, teleport to survivor with the right arrow. Teleport to killer is G. I reach over and do G. Okay, let's see. This is the reveal. Um, the ghost face comma client character is minus comma client TP character. I'm gonna press that and look. I can see the hag. This is pointless, but it is what it is. If I press J, let's, I, I'm still healing myself, but I'm even I'm already healed, so I gotta press insert to stop this. I'm gonna go back to my menu with F4. I'm gonna press J and see if I have trap immunity. Now I can put trap immunity. It is working. All right, we got jump. We saw this. We could teleport to the killer with uh, H. If we want to teleport, sorry. If we want to teleport, I'm stuck on. All right. Sometimes we get a little buggy. I'm going to have to press caps lock because I'm kind of stuck on things. So once I press caps lock, I should be freed up, I believe. Do I have autoplay on? Maybe I have autoplay on. Let me see. Autoplay's on. See, this is why I'm bugging out. Autoplay's on. So I'm going to press H, turn off autoplay, press unstick, uh, teleport to a gen. There, I'm back. So see if you start getting buggy like that, you might have autoplay on accidentally. I accidentally hit H when I press J. So there, once again, that shows you the things that could happen. You might want to disable autoplay. If you go into your uh, keybinds, go to autoplay, wherever it is, H, right click it, empty. Now I'm not going to have that problem of accidentally hitting it. Okay, where were we at? If we want to teleport to killer there, we teleport to killer right there. We could wiggle her out. No, we didn't do it in, in time. So come up here. We'll just, uh, she's going to put her traps down. Oh, we have trap immunity too. So here, let's move away. She's putting her traps down. Um, next feature. Let's see. Teleport to generator. We already did that with up. Teleport to escape. Teleport to hatch. That stuff's for later. Let's just teleport to her right here. We have trap immunity. We don't set off the traps. Or we do, maybe. Maybe she set off the traps when I unhooked her. I'm not sure how trap immunity works with hag. I know with trapper, it means that you won't get trapped. So we could just... Uh, she thinks I'm in a locker. Oh, we can have a little fun with her. We can go in a locker. Here, let's do that. I don't want to go in a locker right next to a hook, honestly, because in case I get yoinked out of that locker, it's not going to be pretty. So let's go to a locker, like, over here. Let me just hop in here. And now we can do this, hold shift, and boom! And now we're pressing O to the forced interactions, and we're just spamming the tar out of this dirty, slimy, camping, tunneling, no good, crunchy scumbag hag eat it eat it yeah you like them how do you like them pineapples if she were smart she'd back away but there you go there's your head on fun get to feature that i'm gonna press insert leave have a nice day oh, she's coming after me we just go like this and we go right through the wall and all of a sudden we're going the other way Easy, no challenge, right through the wall, right upstairs, nothing to worry about. All the way upstairs, look, all the way outside the map, you know, we'll just go, we'll go where she can never catch us. We'll go to the other side of the world and jump off the flat earth. 
All right, Nia's in trouble. We have to wiggle her out. We're gonna have to stand here, wiggle her out. Some crazy animations because I still had... I don't know what I did. I guess I still had the forced animation. We're gonna heal her mid-chase. Hold. Hag is quitting. We're gonna hold. Shift. I think Hag is quitting. Anyway, I'm healing Nia. The great skill checks. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to Hag now and start to troll her. Like this. Alright, I'm gonna scoot myself forward. I'm gonna spam F right now. Scoot forward, scoot forward. For if I want to pick myself up, um, and I want to drop myself down. Surprise, peekaboo. I'm using Q to heal myself. I'm pressing uh, insert to drop back down if she's gonna swing. I'm gonna scoot forward like this. I'm just gonna kind of go this way, finish healing myself here, and I'm back up. And now we control her once again. Dirty camping hang, come get it, come get it, you know you want it, you know you want it, come get it, come get it. We we'll just go right here, we'll just go right through to the exit gate. We'll just come right over here. Easy. She's not even swinging. Alright, Nia quits. Alright, well. I mean, the killer quit. See any more features? Teleport to a gen up. We got. See, now I'm stuck in the gen and press caps lock to get out of it. To work the gen, you could astral project here. Uh, I think if you're going to work the gen and astral project, you're going to want to. Let's say I want to teleport to. I don't know. Here. I think I need to stop working the gen, maybe? And then teleport? That didn't work. Anyway, you'll have to play around with things. Some things work, some things you have to do certain ways. Uh, teleport inside exit gate is just the arrow key down. You go inside the exit gate so you're you're safe. Let's say the killer downs you. You immediately want to go to safety. You press down or whatever button you have, and it'll just teleport you right inside the exit gate through the exit gate with, with caps lock. Um, we saw the head on. Let me see what else we have to show you. Um, instant, instant sacrifice. I wonder if this will work on Bill. Let's press I for killers only. Okay, never mind. I was wrong about this. This is not an instant sacrifice for a teammate if you want to troll them. I was absolutely wrong. Forget what I said earlier in the video. This is instant sacrifice for killers. So if you're the killer and you want to instantly sacrifice somebody on the first hook, I suppose, you press I and do that. Correction from before. I was absolutely wrong about that one. Okay. Never used it before, like I said. Uh, camera mode, we don't really need to see, you know, the camera mode is just going to be this and show me like an aerial view. It's kind of weird. I'm all like upside down. Everything's strange. I'm going to take that off. You saw how we can jump through the imaginary hatch, right? Whoops. See, I accidentally hit home. See, maybe I want to go to my, uh, key binds here where it says, where does it say home? I don't see that one here. I think that I don't think you can change that. I was gonna take it off, so I didn't accidentally hit it. So back on over here. Um, let's see. First of all, chests. Is there a chest? Chest. I mean, you could put chests on if you want to put to go here. Turn on reveal chests. Right there's a chest right here. You would open the chest, and as you're opening the chest, as you're getting down to. As you're getting down to the end, you would spam O. Start spamming O here. And then you're going to press insert. Uh, let me let me heal myself real quick. See, Bill is still stuck on the hook over here. He's frozen. I'm not even sure how we did that. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to do that, but have fun figuring out how to do that. Um, okay, so I'm healed. So like, let's say over here, I put my med kit down and this is for other people, but I pull out a toolbox here. 
I put it down. Oh, great. She's coming. I need to pick up my med kit. I want to keep my med kit. The other one DC'd. So. Let's see. I pick up this toolbox. Med kit. So, in other words, it's just kind of like an unlimited chest. All the all the players disconnected. They quit, except for the hag. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna want to pick up my med kit because that's the important one. I put it over here. Um. Watch this right in front of her. Let's let's do this right in front of her. Let's do this. She's not looking at me. Look at me! <laughs> Jump down the imaginary hatch. Okay. Anyway, what else we got here? Uh, let's see if we can get her to do. A, let's see if we can get her to do a pallet stun over here. Right. So we throw this, and then we do the the animation with O. It's just repeated uh, pallet stuns. Uh, alt. If I press Alt, it's just going to be the sound the sound of the pallet breaking. So let's say you wanted to troll the killer, you're like above them and you just want to make them hear noises. Like that. You could do that for whatever reason. Um, killer's not playing anymore. Right, what else do we got to show? I just kind of want to go through all the features really quick. Um, we went through med kits, healing people. Like I said, if we wanted to heal, let's say we wanted to heal Nia, we would find Nia. Wherever she might be, uh, Nia, Bia, okay, we look over here, and we just look at them, we look in that direction, hold shift, you, we're gonna be healing. Now, N Nia and Mega are right by each other, so I, I don't know which one it's healing, but uh, supposing they were more than, you know, two feet away from each other, then I could look at the appropriate one. Let's say I wanna teleport to Bill, I look at Bill, right, I look at Bill, right, she, she quits. It's showing the trapper right now because I had accidentally pressed B at some point, which is to switch the roles. Uh, it's just silly. It just shows the trapper escaping. Okay, we'll, we'll move on to the next. I just want to make sure we covered the basics of everything. I don't want this video to go on forever. It's already been one hour. Just trying to show you everything as quickly as possible so you can play with it yourself. Once again, what didn't we show? Let me just go over this real quick to make sure we didn't miss anything important. Palette sounds, we had wiggling, wiggling survivors, hold shift, wiggle myself, hold F. Pre-wiggle while you're on the floor, spam, I didn't mean hold F, spam F. Spam F while you're on the floor, you will pre-wiggle. When they pick you up, you'll instantly break out. Interrupt everyone, that would have stopped them from doing the gens, we didn't do that. Fixed movement, I showed you that. Force medkit, I showed you that. Force interaction, I showed you that. Force animation, I showed you that. Um, toggle free cam, I showed you that. Auto wiggle would have just been the w wiggle skill checks had I gotten picked up. Uh, fast actions? I'm not sure what that is. Teleport to a lament box so we didn't have a pinhead, that's fine. Un um, auto moonwalk, you figure that out yourself, you can moonwalk. Um, auto play, I showed you. Trap immunity, uh, we did that. Not sure if it worked. Uh, it works for trapper, I'm not sure if it works for hag. I think it worked for hag and maybe when we unhooked the, the girl on the hook, maybe she set off the trap, I don't know. Trails only for Pinhead, Magic Game for Killers, Modifiers, I believe, is the automatic skill, great skill checks. Um, keep going, Instant Hatchets for Killer, uh, Killer Stun Drop, I believe that's for Killer, I'm not sure what that is. Remove Effects, that's to do the head-on thing I showed you, along with up here, Auto Dead Hard, uh, head-on. And you hold Shift while you're in the locker, if you want to do the head-on. 
Uh, camera mode, not important. Aimbot, that's for killers. Instant sacrifice, that's for killers. Toggle roll, that shows you the add-ons that I accidentally hit. Uh, only really useful for Sadako on Rio to see her TVs. I don't know what, what else that'd be useful for. No black bars. I think that takes away the black bars in the beginning. I'm not sure. Teleport to hatch. Um, easy if you're gonna if you want to just escape the hatch quickly press whatever button you have that to teleport to escape same thing you'll, you'll teleport to the inside of the the um exit gates it'll be your safe space no one can offend you there uh teleport to generator up teleport to hex totem i don't have that set to anything speed hack is mouse three the middle mouse uh jump i showed you v client tp that's where i looked at the hag look at the ghost face to reveal them i think it works on the new killer too to take away their power on you um same thing teleport to killer i think we pretty much covered all the basics here i didn't want this video to go on that long but i really wanted to cover everything in depth so you guys have a, a big picture of all the things that you can do and then from that point you just play with it yourself you will know all the fundamentals, all the basics, all the practical things that you can use in games. And then from there, just explore and get yourself stuck in situations and unstuck. Like I showed you, you might have autoplay accidentally on. If you're stuck in a wall, caps, light, caps lock, uh, stick, unstick yourself from an action, insert. Um, all these things you'll just have to do from experience. Uh, I pretty much gave you a lot. And I just want to see if there's anything else before I before I wrap it up here. It's been an hour video. Hopefully you stuck through and saw it till the end and learned things. Uh, it's the wonderful world of FMP. And uh, let's go ahead and just see if there's anything else here. Teleporter Survivor, Toggle Flying, Instant Escape. That's pretty much it. It's pretty much all the, the goodies I'm going to take off. Um, reveal return to game i'm gonna take f4s you're gonna take off reveal chest i don't need to see them so then you have f5 it's an onrio look at us speak of the devil speak of the satan herself all right so we got she's got colorblind scourge hook floods of rage sloppy butcher monstrous shrine okay so we need to do jen's asap if we're gonna want to save our team right now is she okay i was gonna say she's afk she's not afk um People are going to get the all-seeing eyeball. Um, see, like this would be a perfect way to um, perfect way to save them from the Onryo would be to get them stuck under the hook so that she can't mori them because an Onryo's playstyle is the most disgusting that there is. And um, you know, to avoid it, you can do things like get your team stuck under the hook. I don't imagine they will build condemnation. They might. Haven't ever actually done it. But if I press B now, you see in the bottom left corner where my med kit shows with the double surgical suture. If I press it now, all of a sudden it shows the Onrio's perks and I can see all her TVs. So here I'm just basically going to gen rush against this. Uh, by the way, we're at the lowest MMR possible, so the killer's not going to be as sweaty as they would be at the higher MMR. But if you want to get to higher MMR, you go ahead and run the Autobot. It'll just play for hours and hours while you're sleeping and get you to that high MMR. Look, done with this gen. I'm going to press up, automatically add another gen. And here she is. She doesn't even see me. Except for Sable's bringing her right to me. And she goes to chase her. Yeah, we're at baby MMR because she's ignoring me on the gen right here. This, this is definitely baby MMR. We're swimming in the kiddie pool right now. That's because I just made this account. It's brand new. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I want to show you guys. She's bringing her here. Let's say, oh, I press middle mouse. I'm inside. She can't even get me off this gen right now. So I can actually watch. She's... Let's say she comes to hit me, which she's not because she doesn't know how to play. But if she came to hit me right now, she couldn't even hit me. So I could force do this gen right in her face. And I'm just watching myself from a different perspective. And I'm just watching myself. Okay, so middle mouse would have put me in a in a in a spot where I'm just 
through the, you know, through the gen, they can't hit me. I'm like bugged on it. All right, so let's say I want to go to the moon. I don't think there's a moon on this map. Apparently not, or a sun. So I'm up here, caps lock, it's gonna drop me to wherever I'm located. That's free cam. If I wanna go right back down, I would press caps lock again. I can go through floors, aiming my camera down, drop through the floors, uh, zip on over to a survivor, or teleport to a survivor. Go through the walls, caps lock, um, go, Arrow down inside an exit gate, safe and sound. No one can mess with me. I can go right through here, go back through here. I can even jump all the way out here, and I'm outside the exit gate. Right? Off the earth. Off the flat earth. Guys, there it is. The conspiracy theorists were correct. The earth is, in fact, flat. We've established this beyond all reasonable doubt. All right. Just come right in, we'll just save them right in her face. Press the middle mouse and we've teleported over here. Uh, we'll just heal ourselves. Alan over there, whatever her name is. The Alan character, female Alan character. I don't know what her name is. Rose or something like that. Is a little confused after what I just did. Uh, this, she's got sloppy butcher, so it's taking forever to heal. Okay, I'm healed up. Uh, teleport to killer. Zip forward. Play some little games with her. Go right through the pallet. We're gonna moonwalk on her. For the moonwalk, it kind of helps if you sway your camera side to side. Alright, now I'm going to spam F, which is my uh, auto wiggle. Alright, she's going to come down here. I'm going to go right up here. Alright, she's going to pick me up if she picks me up. Oh, this one's teabagging on me. Alright, right when she picks me up, if she picks me up. She's not picking me up. Anyway, I would automatically wiggle out if she picked me up. I'll just start healing myself right here. She's going to swing at me. I'm going to play a little game. Duck, dodge, and weave. I'm back up. We're going to moonwalk on her again. We're going to hover over her head. Just teabag right in her face. So... All right, tea bag on her like she did to us. All right, I'm back. Back on the floor. Let's see if she picks me up. I'm slithering away. All right, she's going to pick me up, and I'm going to immediately break out because I spammed F before. And we're just going to do some little tea bags. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now she's going to... I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to wiggle her out by spamming F. She gets out. So there you go. So, we'll let her hook. Go ahead, hook. Alright, we'll wiggle her out then. Alright, to the gens. They're boring. We don't want to play. And that's pretty much it. Um, left, left arrow. If I want to go, this is where the hatch will be. Right there, see how it says on the ground, hatch. Uh, if you want to make things bigger, um, ESP style, is uh, like 24. I just pressed 14. 24. I don't like it to be huge, but I don't like it to be tiny either. I mean, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think there's, there's a whole lot more to show. I just make sure I didn't miss anything. All this stuff, uh, action speed... Crouch speed, crawl speed. I think this all has to do with putting on risky mode, and I don't want to put on risky mode. So I don't use any of that. Um, that's it. Your ESP is over here. This, this is all the basics of everything. Without dragging this video on any longer, let's just finish up these gens. Uh, 
And maybe auto escape or something. We're gonna have to escape a bunch of games here to get some killers and survivors that are going to interact. But I pretty much showed you everything. We can look at her right now. I feel bad for her. It's a Sadako. I mean, I, I don't ever feel bad for Sadakos, but once again, we are at baby MMR. I press up and I'm stuck inside the gen, can't do anything. Press caps lock, I get out. We'll just sit on this gen to get it done, I suppose. If we wanted to see, let's say another gen, does another gen have progress? We can do uh, generator text. And that one has zero progress, and that one has zero progress. So no gens have progress. Let me take that off. I don't really care to see that information. You can see the distance. He's two meters from me. Henri is 28 meters from me. We're just going to finish up this gen and get out because nobody's doing anything. Bunch of potatoes here. I think we've pretty much shown you the majority of everything there is. Now a couple other things you can learn and figure out, ask other people. Some things I don't even know, but that's that. Alright, press arrow down, boom, and the exit gates. We'll just come out here and we open the exit gate. So what we'll do here is open the exit gate. Here, we'll, we'll see if we can get her to put me on a hook over here. Here, we'll go out here. We'll jump out here. Who come roast some marshmallows in the bonfire? Ooh, yummy, yummy marshmallows. S'mores. Alright, we'll hop back in here. And we'll go to the killer. She doesn't want to mess with us. She hits him. We come in. He, he, he's moving. He needs to stop crawling. If he wasn't crawling, I would have picked him up with four of the people. And she drops him off. I'm just going to let him out. Oh. Alright, we'll let her kill us. I could instantly escape on a hook. But I, I think I'm just going to let her kill us. Because I feel bad for her. Look hatch right here I could press F2 on the hook but I feel bad for her I'm just gonna let her have it if I pressed F2 right here on the hook it would instantly escape Right here, I would have a chance to instantly escape. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Alright, fine, I did it. I did it for you guys, and to show her that I could do it. But I feel bad, I wanted to give her the kill. Not like it matters, she probably de-pipped anyway. Um, well, have fun being a bully, and that's that. And that should wrap everything up. I showed you two games. Pretty much everyone quit and all of them were at 1 minute and 14 seconds. And that should pretty much sum up FMP for your personal enjoyment. And I am going to go start a live stream now and get have all kinds of craziness go on in the chat. But enjoy, guys. Much love. God bless. And I hope you have fun. Tell them Trolling Prophet sent you. We out. <laughs>